stumbled across this USGS map of all the wind farms in the United States. Um, it's a pretty neat little graph. If you click on any one of these individual wind farms, you can see a number of technical specifications, um, as well as, you know, where exactly in the United States it is located. Um, I, I really like this map, and I thought to myself, well, if I knew the environmental conditions um, along with these technical specifications, I could probably calculate the overall wind production for a given wind farm if I have the forecast. So I took all of the information that underlies this individual um, graph that has all the technical specifications and locations of wind farms. I combined it with this open EI data set that has the actual owners of the wind farms. I downloaded um, forecast information from the Dark Sky API and I built my calculations from this academic article um, that tells you how to actually calculate based on technical specifications and wind speed velocity um, as well as a couple of other environmental indica indicators allows you to calculate the megawatts produced um, under those environmental conditions. So here's where I actually blended all the data with Alteryx. Um, this first input is the actual wind farm locations. Um, I build a URL that I then pass to the Dark Sky API along with my API key. It returns back a JSON object that holds within it seven days worth of forecasts. Um, I prep that data. I build my actual calculations that tell me how much wind production I can expect or power production I can expect from that given wind farm. I build a historical data set. Um, so I have a number of other, um, because I've been running this workflow for a while, I have a whole bunch of data for days in the past. I want to keep that information. So I build that historical data set here. And ultimately, I publish my um, my analysis and all of my energy forecasts out to a Tableau data extract out on my Tableau server. Um, this could be anything. This could be an Excel sheet. This could be um, writing down to an uh, Oracle database or a Microsoft SQL Server database. This could be anything. We use Tableau to build visualizations, so I've chosen to build a Tableau data extract that sits on our server. So directly from Alteryx, I can then go to Tableau I've built this visualization on top of that Tableau data extract that we just looked at. Um, so this is covering 43,548 turbines and 966 facilities in 41 states. I outlined the overall importance of this data, so for financial institutions um, as well as the stakeholders to understand the effect of up and down time for a given wind farm based on the forecast. Also, if I was operating a wind farm individually and I knew the exact locations of each of my turbines and I knew how much um, energy a particular turbine should be generating granted environmental conditions and I saw a discrepancy between the actual production and what it should be production that could be grounds um, to go actually look at that turbine and make sure it was operating correctly. In this analysis we focused mainly on the financial impact and the stakeholders um, involved in those impacts. Here in the first graph, we see where the wind is blowing. So first thing you'll notice is this geospatial graph here. Um, each of these dots represent individual wind farms. If you pan over them, you'll see the name of the wind farm, the owner, where they are located, the daily energy forecast for that given day, and the estimated revenue um, for that wind farm on that day, granted the um, uh, environmental conditions. In the bottom left, you'll see a callout number. This is the total aggregate estimated revenue for a given day based on the forecast and technical specifications of all of our wind farms. As well, um, just below this, you'll see the estimated revenue for a given day. Granted, the cost of one megawatt was $150. Down here along the x-axis, you'll see small tick marks. Each of these tick marks represent individual days. And if I click on each one, you'll see my, my geospatial graph respond and all of my callout number and this line graph. What this is showing us is the given um, revenue and energy forecast for a given day. And I've set, up the, I've set this up so that it can actually page through it automatically as we're looking at other information. And so what you'll see is this waxing and waning of different regions in our data set for given wind forecasts. So some days in the Midwest it's really windy, but in the Southwest where we've got um, 
we've got California has a lot of wind farms. There may not be a lot of production out there. So this gives you an overall sort of understanding of where exactly wind is blowing and how that is affecting our estimated revenue. Something I should mention, there are conditions that render wind farms um, or, or make it so that wind farms are not operating. I have not taken that into consideration with this um, analysis. I'm sure that um, it would be possible to, to set up those conditions. I just haven't done it here. Next, I want to see how much skin is actually in this in this game. So I have the ability here to change the overall amount that people are paying for a given mega for a megawatt of energy. So if I change that to 200, you'll see all of our energy forecasts change um, or increase. Down here on the bottom left or uh, bottom just below that, you'll see the estimated revenue for this the next seven days. Um, this purple line here looks a lot like this purple line. That's because they are the same exact graph. This is the total revenue um, for each day. And this thin gray line here is the running total. And you'll see here at the end of um, the forecasted week, we have $43 million in estimated revenue to be um, had by the wind farm industry in the United States. Next thing is to figure out, you know, who is benefiting from these wind farms. So I have um, on the left, this is total forecasted revenue by state and total forecasted revenue by facility. Over here on the left, I've, I've said I've given the ability to actually toggle the total amount of states that you show. So if I wanted to see the top 15, I could add that here. If I wanted to only see the top 10, I could change that. What we can see is that Texas has about $8 million in this revenue, followed by Minnesota at $7 million, Iowa, so on and so forth, on down the line. And it gives you an overall estimate in millions of dollars of how much wind revenue each state is going to see. Likewise, I have this broken down by individual owners. So we see that Nextra Energy Resources is making about $4 million over the next seven days. $2 million is going to Mid-American Energy, Horizon Energy, so on and so forth on down the line. This gives a really good understanding of not only where, but how much and to whom um, revenue is going to be uh, going to over the next seven days granted some wind forecast. I hope this was helpful. I hope this gives you an overall understanding of the power of Tableau and Alteryx when they work together. Um, and, you know, happy dating. Thanks.